welcome to the Connector 12 2017 update. Here is what's new. I have updated the facial expression system to match Manuel Bastioni Lab 1.6 characters. And I think it's um, quite successful in that respect. Actually, expressions should be improved on both human and anime characters. Also, I've shown in a recent Google Plus post the hand movements should look a lot more natural now. Look at the left hand of this character. Connector is not always 100% accurate and you may have to tweak some erratic movements in the graph editor after capturing. The additional support for the legs work quite well as long as you don't turn your body. You have new operational modes to choose from. This is an example of the joint position mode. As with the previous version, you simply download Connector and open the archive. Inside you will find a new folder called Examples and the actual Connector binary. We can simply extract that one. There is also the Connector Python plugin for Blender, which should be copied into the Blender folder called Scripts Add-ons. And once it's in here, you'll be able to activate it within Blender. There is also a readme file providing some information about this version. Now, if you go back here, go into the connector folder, you see the connector ini file. If we open it with Notepad, we see that it has changed somewhat. So the destination IP address is still the same. Don't change it if you don't have another computer. If you want to use Manuel Bastioni Lab characters, it got simpler now because the um, face shapes are the same now for anime and human characters. And this is with Manuel Bastioni Lab 1.6. I've also provided a little step-by-step -step guide so you remember what to do in case something doesn't work right. Please ignore the inverse kinematic option here. Um, I'm still working on this and eventually, if I get it to work, it will be supported. A new feature, however, is Rigify support. So we can test it right away with this. But at the moment, only the armature is supported. Once I figure out how, I will try to add expressions to Rigify as well. So let's save the ini file and start connector. And ah, now you can see me. Hello. Well, if you look at this select box, you might notice a few changes as well. We have joint position, joint position and rotation, and face as position. I will explain in a minute what this all means. Now let's start Blender. Maybe make this window a bit smaller so we can see connector on this side. So in case you haven't enabled the connector plugin yet, go to the preferences, add-ons, search for connector as it should be picked up if you copy the Python script into this folder and simply click here to enable the plugin. Once you have it enabled, you should see this updated UI for connector. Let me delete the queue and to get started let's put it in joint position mode. And simply select what should be added for every position that's being received and start connector. There is some interesting things happening here and you actually see me waving at you. So this is the first new real um, addition to connector. However, we can go back to the human mode and do something else. Let's remove this. Let's add a Rigify armature. All we need to do is to change in pose mode to change the shoulder to Quaternion. Uh, oh, there we go. 
so the um, bones here will be animated. I don't know why they're at Euler um, by default. They might have some reasons for this. So this is the rig. We need to rename it to connector as usual. But then I can definitely animate this. Um, what you also see, it is a bit off now. So if I hit the calibrate button here, it moves to the center again. Let me move the chair out of the way so it doesn't get picked up. And now I can animate this beautiful rigify armature. Also, you see my hands are wiggling. Um, I did improve some of those um, smoothing algorithms. So now it's even better than before. And as you can see, the shoulders are turning as well if I stretch my arms up, right? So if you don't see this happening, make sure they're not at either mode. Alternatively, have a look at the examples. Extract the Rigify blend file and open it with Blender. Now I have again my Rigify armature. I'm starting connector, the plugin, and I get the Rigify rig animated. The blend file also contains an already made animation by me, which you can check out. There is more to this. To show you, I load the Blender default scene, remove the cube. Also, uh, we don't need this anymore. Start connector and add cubes. I'm going to change this to face as position and start connector. Once it picks up my face, you will see all the expressions as moving cubes. So you could add a driver to it and then drive your own models with it. That's all for this version. For the next, I'll be looking at supporting multiple characters. Probably not with concurrent motion capture, but at least so that you can handle it within Blender. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Have fun and goodbye.